Most of the 41 passengers were asleep when a man, perhaps this man, jumped up and slit the driver's throat. The bus veered off the road, killing the hijacker, taking five innocent victims with him. With no seat belts to restrain them, the passengers were thrown about the bus and picked out one of the corpses as the hijacker. Now it's up to Dr. Levy to find out more about this suspect. Of course. Once we know. Rosemary White ready the bodies for autopsy. First autopsy I witnessed, um, I was a little bit freaked out at first, but it didn't last very long. The priorities are going to be, well, basically to get these autopsies done so the families can uh, claim the bodies of their relatives. I'm getting ready to take pictures, which is the last thing I have to do before we start the autopsy on this lady. This is number 2259, a male white. We don't have any names yet. No positive identification, I don't think, on any of them yet, so. Levy shows a sitter of the crash is brought into a separate suite. Dr. Levy will handle this autopsy himself. The detectives are searching for clues. Who was this man? And what was the motive of this homicidal act? Every item of clothing is carefully examined and photographed. Identification is a critical part of the autopsy process. They'll need to discover who these victims were and exactly how they met their end. The key is to put a face to a body, a human identity to a corpse. Uh, I'm sure in the jumble of it, things thrashing around, that it, it, it might be anybody's. 150 and one half pounds. I mean, looking at him, he looks like he's fairly young. Looks like he is in his 20s, maybe his early 30s. This is the suspect that America wants to know more about. Is he another hijacker? Was he the perpetrator? Or was he framed? Dr. Levy is keeping an open mind.